Beneath my feet are the raw materials needed to create a computer. The question is, can this stuff think? Artistic expression is a pretty unique human ability, something that no other intelligent life seems to be capable of. But that may be about to change. This painting has generated a lot of controversy lately. It's a great work of art. In fact, it recently won top prize at a fine arts competition. So why have artists reacted to this piece with so much anger? Well, as it turns out, this painting wasn't created by an artist. It wasn't even created by a human being. This piece was generated by an artificial intelligence. It was created by a computer. AI systems are getting better every day. We've got computers now that can play chess, hold a conversation, even drive a car. But this raises an interesting question. Are these AI systems capable of genuine thought? Can machines think? You can't get blood from a stone. But what about intelligence? Can we squeeze thought from ordinary matter? Can this stuff think? Well, it might sound crazy, but it's a prevalent theme in stories and myths. Think of Frankenstein, or medieval stories about the golem, a monster created from clay that would mindlessly obey any command that it was given. These stories seem to anticipate the greatest innovation of the modern age, the computer, a device that simply by mindlessly following instructions can do almost anything. And in 1936, that fantasy became reality. You've probably heard of Alan Turing. He was a mathematician who helped crack Nazi codes during World War II, and he applied those same techniques to the toughest problems of his day. He proved that nothing in mathematics was solvable unless it could be computed in a purely mechanical way, by blindly following instructions, just like the golem. To prove this, Alan Turing described a very simple machine a machine which forms the basis for all modern computers. We call it a Turing machine. The Turing machine is simple but powerful. By following the right set of instructions, this machine can compute anything that is mathematically computable. This means that the Turing machine can, in theory, do anything a human mind can do, and then some. This generated a huge amount of excitement. Suddenly the idea of thought emerging from ordinary matter no longer seemed mythological. In fact, thinking machines seemed inevitable. I'm convinced that machines can and will think in our lifetime. I confidently expect that within a matter of 10 or 15 years, something will emerge from the laboratories which is not too far from the robot of science fiction fame. How can you tell if a machine is capable of thought? Computers are nothing like us. Our brains are made of billions of cells connected in complex networks. Computers are made of circuits and logic gates. Many philosophers who specialize in the mind think that this is the wrong comparison. We shouldn't care about what brains and computers are made of. We should care about what they can do. And this is what Alan Turing believed. Turing came up with a way for us to determine whether a machine is intelligent by playing a game. He called it the imitation game. In the imitation game, a human judge interacts with two hidden competitors. One of the competitors is human. The other is a computer. The judge's job is simple. Decide which is which. Who is human? And who is a machine? For Turing, this is what matters. If a computer can fool you into believing it's human, then we should consider it to be intelligent. It doesn't matter that the computer may work very differently from you. If it can simulate a mind, it is a mind. Machines can think. Other philosophers disagree. Simulation isn't enough. Can computers blindly following instructions really be capable of thought? This is the Chinese room. Messages written in Chinese go here where they are received by this man. The man has no idea what any of these symbols mean, but he can look them up in this book and follow instructions to create new messages. The person outside the room thinks they're talking to someone who speaks Chinese, but in fact they're talking to a living, breathing Turing machine, a man who has no knowledge or understanding, but can simulate intelligence by blindly following instructions. Some philosophers would argue that this is all that computers do. They would say that no computer actually understands anything or has any thoughts to speak of. They're all just mindless machines. For Alan Turing, computing is thought. But maybe computing isn't enough. But what really worries me today is what's going to happen to us if machines can think. In stories about the golem, the creator ultimately loses control of his creation. Today, artificial intelligence is accelerating at what seems an uncontrollable rate. 
Computers are mastering new human skills every day. Someday they may even exceed us in every area of human intelligence. But on a core level, they still operate in the way Alan Turing described, blindly following instructions like the mythical golem. Is that enough? Can machines think? That's for you to decide.